Xena, Warthog Princess, and my trusty sidekick, Kelly. <laughs> it's rainy and wet here in Tucson today, but I have for you a Jujubee haul. And this one's kind of a fun one because there's something brand new, which we'll get to at the end. The uh, first thing, they had a sale, and uh, it was right before we went on my trip. So I'd ordered and things being delayed, whatnot, of course, just like the love stuff, it arrived after I departed. So it's been waiting for me. So this is not a recent, recent sale. It was like a month ago. But um, the first item I got is the bead dapper. And I want to say this is the cozy knit pattern. It's kind of a gray and white. It looks like actual knitting, like a thick yarn or something. But I got this because it's a very neutral color. And if you know me, you know I don't like light colored things, generally speaking, because I like to use things and they get dirty. But the jujubee is um, Teflon treated. So it's very, very wipeable, it's machine washable. So I'm a lot less worried about it. And it was such a great deal on the piece that I just had to get it. And uh, if nothing else, it'll make a great gift. But with travels and storing things at home, lots of crafting and whatnot, um, going in and out of the RV, it's just a great little piece. Um, you could use it for a lot of different things. You can see I'm kind of puffing it up here to its actual shape there's no stuffing in it or anything but it's pretty much unstructured you can see it will hold its shape just a little bit um yeah now that i got it fluffed out but it is a rectangular cube it's got a handle on one end i do love that you can stack multiple of these in a backpack and just have a bunch of different separate pieces like that it's great for that it's great for um like i said a craft kit um, it's good for toiletries, like especially even a guy, you know, this is like a men's toiletry bag for their shaving kit and whatnot. You could use it for a shoe shine bag, which is not in my recent past, but it's something that I always had, you know, moving around. Anyway, so many ways you could use this piece. But it has an external pocket and it is pretty straightforward. It's not that big. You see there's a seam right here across the bottom, that seam, so that pocket is, is relatively shallow. It's only about knuckle deep there. Uh, but it is plenty useful. Like if you were using this as a first aid kit, like maybe in your car or in your house, you could put band-aids or flat things in there, of course. And inside, it has this main zipper that goes around and most of the way down. So you can really get into the bag. That's just a, a silica pouch. But um, you can get really inside the bag very nicely. It's It's got a pretty good, yeah, I mean, it's just really accessible. Very simple. And that's it. That's all there is to it. That was a lot of talking for not much to the bag, but um, I do have a couple of them. Not many. It's, it's not my primary style, but very useful. And I'm a sucker for a good deal. All right. Um, this next piece, this is the fuel cell in the recent Disney pattern, Sensational Snacks. Um, the fuel cell, if you're not familiar, it's basically a bottle bag, so they say. Now, if you don't have kids, you don't have bottles, guess what? It's great for cans of soda, water bottles, beer, <laughs> whatever. It does have a little bit of insulation to it, but it is not fully an insulated bag per se. The Be Cool is much better for insulation. This is just great for storing some things and giving it a little bit of padding, a little bit of insulation. Um, there you go. This one is, like I said, Disney. So it has that Disney head zipper pull on there, which is really cool. The other one's just a regular zipper pull. And it is nice to have the two zippers so you can open it all the way. And it's like a flip top lid, kind of, sort of. On the top, there is a clear pocket with a zipper. So you can store things in the top. You can fill this thing with all sorts of snacks. You can see a little bit of the pattern inside of it. Um, you with the seam, you got a bunch of Disney characters running around. And sensation, sensational snacks, but it's the six main characters. So you got Mickey and Minnie, Donald and Daisy, Goofy and Pluto. Um, and they're all in various positions with assorted snacks, you know, hot dogs, pretzels, pizza. Um, candy apples, we got lollipops, um, we got some macarons and a hidden Mickey shapes, just really fun stuff. And this is actually a chromatics fabric with the colored print on it. And this is the first time they've ever done that. And it's actually really cool. 
it's a slightly different feel than the regular chromatics. So to me, it's almost like its own entity separate from everything, for what that's worth. Um, but it is, of course, Teflon treated like everything else and very, very useful. I, I like to use these as um, organizational pieces within backpacks and bags um, or just storing things at home. You can use this for a toiletry bag, you know, full-size shampoos and whatnot will fit easily. You can use it as like your um, sunscreen bag for the beach, you know, put all your lotions and potions in there, or whatever. It has a clip on the one handle on the top, so you can clip it around things or clip it to an another bag or just use it as a handle. Okay, doki, enough about that. This next piece is a B-set, you know, to love my pouches. I love, love, love them. This is the brand new Emboss, and this came out with, a, oh gosh, what is it, Wildcat, and this one has a different name. I forgot the name of it, and, you know, of course it doesn't say on here. But it is Emboss. It is obviously black, but it is the, the cat print there. And I'm not super huge on animal prints, I gotta admit. I'm just not. But this being plain black, I thought even with the print on it, I like the emboss. I like um, a little bit of subtle something. And this mixes nicely, very, very nicely with all the black and white patterns. So that's cool. Now, the other thing about this is the emboss material is um, more flimsy. It's lighter weight and more, yeah, just less structured than the regular GGB fabrics. I don't have any handy or else I'd show you. Oh, actually, this is regular fabric. So it's a little stiffer, it's kind of slicky. Um, you know, it's got some rigidity to it. You can kind of see the, just the that. But this is much less structured as a fabric, a fabrication. This one, for whatever reason, seems, it feels lighter, even thinner, than the other emboss I have. Now I don't have it side by side, that's just based on recollection, and I have no issue with it. I actually kind of like it that way, um, because when you put it inside a bag, if it's not full, it, it can, you know, squish down more and you can put more things. <laughs> Anyways, the life of an overpacker, you think of these things, but anyway. It has this nice black hardware, and I just love the zippers are so smooth. As with any B set, it comes with three pouches and two straps. So you have your small, which has the tag on the side and a single loop. Your medium, which has the plate and a loop on each end. Both the small and the medium have these small zipper pulls, single side. And then the large, of course, has the larger plate. It still has loops on both sides, and it's a double zipper with bigger pulls. It also has the little rings on it so that when you bring those together, they can lock. So if you put those two, you know, you put a lock through that loop, that's a concentric loop, so you can put things in there. You lock, lock your medicines away from the kids, uh, keep pickpocketers out, whatever. So you can use these uh, larger two pouches as a little crossbody. And that's the other thing I got this for is because like when you're cruising, for example, to be able to use it as a pouch is great in a bag, but you also can just throw a strap on it or make it a wristlet or a little little shoulder bag um, to take out for the evening. Because look, it's kind of like you could dress it up, make it a little bit more elegant. Just a little handbag. Everybody needs a little black bag for the road. Um, the inside of it is this pretty, I don't know what they call that, champagne. It's kind of a gold, actually. This one looks more gold than some of the previous. Anyway, and then you have your long strap, which is obviously removable and it's adjustable. And then you have the short strap, which is not adjustable. You can make it either um, a short strap on the bag or you can make it like a little wristlet by just hooking it to the same loop. And that is the B set. I just love pouches, so. Chalk this up to the many, many. And there you go, B set. It's like Wildcat and uh, something like that. All right, so now we finally got to the last two items. It's three pieces, but two items. And uh, this is the new Juju Jams pajamas, which is a brand new thing that they did. We did pre-order, or I thought I did, but anyway, I ended up ordering after, whatever, I don't know. But I got them. I got the, it comes as a set, top and bottom. And the bottoms, I got an extra, extra large. I mean, these are huge on me, but 
but they're nice soft material. They're, I don't know if you can, you can kind of see through it if you hold it up to the light, but when you put it on or you put it against, it's not like see through when you're wearing it kind of a thing. What that says to me is it's lightweight, but still will be warm, you know, so it's a nice mix, which Arizona is a good balance. It is soft. It's not like the super softest pajamas I've ever had. They are very soft though. I think they're gonna be very, very comfortable. I think they'll travel well because they're not super wrinkly. Um, I did look at the makeup of these and let's see. It is 97% polyester and 3% spandex. So they do have that little bit of stretch to them. They're not super stretchy like a jersey knit, but they kind of are reminiscent of that. They have good, uh, more stretch laterally than vertically, but they've got good stretch. And it's a cute pattern. Look, it's just stars. So even though this came out in the holidays, it's a good year round kind of pattern, at least to me. It has a nice elastic waistband, and I love that it also has the drawstring, especially because I ordered them big, very big, uh, even for my fat butt. But anyway, the, the bottoms have a cuff on the base. It's not a tight cuff, it's, it's quite a loose cuff, but it should be sufficient to keep them from just riding up your leg or whatnot, although even though I got them big, but they're nice. I do like them, and they're gonna be comfy. And the top, let's look at the top. Ooh, all the tags up down here. So there's the top, it's just a long sleeve. It has a little bit of an elastic end on the sleeve, so sort of a stylus, stylish twist, you know? So I guess um, it's just an extended cuff with elastic. It's kind of interesting. So you could, honestly, you could wear this as a shirt or as pajamas, I think. I mean, I would totally wear that out. Why not? Um, and then that just allows, I guess, if you have shorter arms, I don't know exactly what that design purpose is, but it's stylish more than anything for me. It allows a little flexibility in the arm length, but it is a nice length. Like, it's not a short top. It's not short-waisted. It has a good length to it, so. I'm really happy with the proportions of it. Oh, one other thing. It says, love what you wear. So this like tagline around the collar seam. That's kind of a nifty touch. There you go. All right, so Jujube, Juju Jams pajamas. And this is the cutest, you know, it's just Kelly and I, my dog. So I got Kelly the matching pajamas for the doggy. So it's just like a slip on t-shirt. That's just the tag right there. And on the back, it's just it's just plain like that. So it's longer in the back than it is in the front. So it makes perfect sense. She does not need extra clothes on the daily here, even in the winter. She she gets her nice winter. She's sitting right there looking at me, sweet baby. Um, I'm gonna try and put it on her right now. See what she thinks of it or what we think. She's pretty mellow, but uh, we'll see if she'll let me do it. Come here, baby. You wanna come here? She's so tolerant. Good girl. Big one, ready? Okay. There we go. Ooh, I got it way too big. Way too big for the doggy. Okay, come on. Let's get up. Oh, here we go. <laughs> so, her pajamas are too big. I don't think they'll shrink too much, but she says I'm nine. That's my baby. She's softer now. But she sheds like a banshee, so she's a good girl. <laughs> All right, you ready to get off the table? Come on. Come on. Okay. There we go. Take it off. You don't have to have it on. <laughs> ah, that's it. So, Juju Jams. And I hope you're all having a very wonderful New Year's Eve day. Happy New Year to everyone. May 2022 bring you joy and health and happiness galore and may every day be brighter than the day before bye for now